Lions TV, Millwall 2, Huddersfield United nil. Um, I am absolutely gutted that I didn't turn up tonight, but um, personal reasons, I, I came home from work. Uh, I, I don't regret my decisions because you sometimes make choices, but wow, um, what, what a performance. To, to have been there, that would have been an absolute privilege. And I think that was a huge statement, a huge statement in terms of performance. In terms of uh, little uh, everything, really everything that, that you know, uh, threat going forward. We had 19 shots today, 19. Um, in, in terms of looking aggressive in the last third, in you know, winning the ball back in the last third, and having a press, uh, and just getting in amongst them. Like uh, in midfield, we battled, and it was every bit, every bit as good, and if not better than QPR. And I didn't think we topped that at all, and. After the Backburn game and after the Middlesbrough game, we needed to put our foot down and, uh, and, and make a statement. And we, we clearly did that tonight. I, I didn't see that one coming. You know, Huddersfield, 17 games unbeaten, third in the league. You see in the first 10 minutes, they didn't start slowly. You know, they didn't ease themselves into the game. And they, they knocked it round us with ease. They had four or five chances in the first 10 minutes. Uh, and I said straight away, you can see why they've they've been unbeaten. I've maybe have underestimated Huddersfield. I've said for the entire season, I, I don't understand why they're up there. I don't see any superstars there. I've watched games and I didn't really rate them. But I watched them against West Brom last week and they were phenomenal. And they threw it away last five minutes where they conceded too early with five minutes left and then an onslaught. But they were, they were every bit... Uh, of a side that deserved to be second or third in the league, and I, I took my I took my hat, took my hat to them, and I took my words back. I I, I thought they were um, quality last week. So when they come down, I was like, oh, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a really tough game. And last like first ten minutes, I thought we was in it for a long night. I genuinely thought it would be two teams on form that would try and work each other out, work you know, war of attrition, and then uh, t first team to score maybe just nullify the game, but. After that first 10 minutes, I think we had a 10-minute spell where it was probably end-to-end, 50-50. -end, then we had a five five or so minute spell just before we scored and we scored. Then it went 50-50 again. But second half, it was incredible. We, we limited them to long shots. We hit the bar, we hit the post. We had one cleared off the line. We had a goalkeeper who made a phenomenal save. We had a, a definite handball penalty, which probably would have been a red card uh, and a penalty. Um, and we were absolutely awesome. A Fobi, I thought his touch was off. Uh, he didn't look confident. I think he looked a little bit sluggish, but then he scored his goal. And you just see the boy lift. And my God, that he took his first goal really well. Uh, the second goal was even better. It was like Cantona against Liverpool in 97, I believe, in the cup final. It was like behind him, he takes a step back. But it was a better contact and it whizzes into that uh, far corner. Absolutely incredible, uh, and, and they're all up for it. You can see it, Malone, uh, in his interview afterwards, and, and a phobi. Phobi's a bit more calm. He would just say, we're just going to go out, enjoy our football, see how it takes us one game at a time. Malone's like, yeah, we're buzzing. Of course we can do it. So they've got a little bit of a mixture. I think you need you need players that are right up for it, but you also need players to just level it down and go, right, yeah, one game at a time. Stoke is huge. I think um, we've got four winnable games after our next two. So Stoke away, Luton away. Do we just say take two draws or do we take a win and a loss and then really hit the four games or, you know, but hey, boundless, boundless. Let's just go out and, and aim for winning every game. As I said, Middlesbrough was a little bit dull. Blackburn, we had no game plan to win the game. So if we just play with a little shackles off, a little bit of confidence, aim to win every game, just see where we go. That was absolutely phenomenal tonight. You know, um, first 10 minutes, as I said, I was, I was very worried. After that, I took it to him, and it was it was just unrow it like, wasn't it? Shall we say? And sometimes you need that type of performance to just get yourself back into a right frame of mind. We've been very tough to beat lately. We have. And I don't think you're going to make the playoffs with that to sustain it going forward. And we did it the other year where uh, I think we were building up, and then we lost three 0 home to Swansea. I think to make the playoffs, yes, you've got to be hard to beat, but you need spells where you're going to be scoring and really put it on teams. So could this be the turning point? I thought maybe QPR was. Uh, look, I still I still think we're going to fall short, but if we give it a go, no one can argue. You know, And that's all we want to see. Let's give it a go. 
put everything out there, put everything on the pitch, leave it out there. Wherever we finish, we'll just applaud our boys and say, well done. You know, well done. You know, well, we're proud of you. And that's all we want. And today, there were absolute monsters, every single one of them. There wasn't a weak player out there. Absolutely beasted it. Roll on Stoke. Um, I just want to say, and I hope Dan keeps this in, we lost a, a massive, huge character, a proper lion in Gary Abbott um, yesterday. It's really been tough um, last couple of days. Uh, I'm sure he's up there and he enjoyed that tonight. You know, sleep easy, big man. Um, so it's our time to see again. You know, we did you proud today. I, I hope you smiled. But other than that, let's go again, Stoke away. Come on, you Lions.